Hi. Hey travelers, it's LSD789 with another video. I want to show you how you can get this night guard uh, weapon mod. It's really good for summon and minion builds. Show you how it looks. Like two swords and they go in melee and uh, have projectiles. So how, how you get this, you need to go to the pathway of the fallen. It's a side dungeon in the Awakened Kingdom DLC. And uh, once you are here, you want to actually go in that door, but it's closed for now. And the requirement to get this is, you need to have this uh, Crown of the Red Prince, or the true Crimson Crown will work as well. But you need to have this uh, crown to get it. I'll show you how to get it in a second. So once you make it through the maze, uh, you're gonna find a aberration here. And he will drop the medallion we need. Let's quickly kill him. And this one will uh, drop a medallion, which we need. Let's kill the axe. There you have it, a Memorian uh, Medallion Key. Now with this key, you can also go back to the main building, but we're gonna actually go forward. So behind this painting, there's a secret doorway. If you make it up here, there's a mirror. And it will teleport you to a different area. Once you make it through the mirror, go on the right. There will be another maze here, and I will see you guys at the end of it. And so once you make it through the maze, you can uh, find this door here. And with that medallion we picked up earlier, you can put it in here. And door open. And then, if you have this uh, Crown of the Red Prince equipped, or the Crimson Crown, and you walk this way, a secret hidden door will open. Only when you have this crown equipped. And then over here, you get the item. And with this item, you can go to McCabe in War 13, and she will craft you this Night Guard. It's really nice for summon builds and minion builds. They count as two summons and they do great damage. They are ranged and melee. So yeah, hope you guys think it's useful. If you have any questions, write them in the comments. And yeah, LSD789, out.